Alan Watts posed the idea that if you could dream any dream that you wanted, that if you could dream 75 years of time per night, you would start by fulfilling all your fantasies and desires and give yourself everything you've ever wanted. But eventually you'd get bored of this and add in some adventure. You'd dream a dream where not everything was under control, where there's some surprises for you. You would take this further and further till eventually you were dreaming the exact life that you're living now. And so maybe anything that's happening to you isn't necessarily bad. It's just the randomness that you programmed into the dream. Maybe this is what the Stoics mean when they say that outside forces are neither good nor bad. What happens to each of us is ordered. It furthers our destiny, as Marcus Aurelius said. The way I like to look at this is to imagine that there's this worldly version of you, the body that you're inhabiting right now. But that's not all that you are. There's also the God version of you, who's directing this whole play. So now we have two versions of you, big you and small you, godly and worldly. Imagine that God you is directing the events of the entire living experience of you and everything that happened to you in your life has been to further the mission of worldly you. Everything is happening to help you. Maybe you grew up with some trauma caused by your parents and you wish that didn't happen. Maybe they're rude to you, they didn't give you love, and as a result you have trust issues or insecurities or you're seeking validation. Worldly you may wish you didn't have that, but the truth is that the God version of you ordered this for you. That by giving you this curse, it actually allowed you to connect with the worldly version of others in a way that you wouldn't be able to. Say your connection with your best friend. That without this thing that happened to you and shaped you, you wouldn't be able to form a bond with this other person. And the God version of you and the God version of your friend wanted worldly you and worldly them to meet. So they ordered for you a set of happenings that would make it so your paths cross. And when I separate God you and your God friend here, I'm only referring to it from this plane of reality. I imagine that at that level we're discussing, this separation wouldn't be a thing as I'm describing it, but the same entity that directs everything. This God you is essentially what the Stoics refer to as the Logos. It's directing everything for you, but it's also directing everything for everything else in the universe. We are all a part of a cohesive whole, governed by the Logos. Now the real question is knowing this, acting through this, what can we do with this information?